Championship golfer Jordan Spieth defies a long-taught golf fundamental said to promote power and consistency with a so-called chicken wing. I don't really listen to what other people say, but if I had to dissect something, they might talk about kind of the, the left arm saying so square and maybe called, you know, a chicken wing. Swing coaches encourage straight arms through impact, and Jordan, on the left, would appear to have the disadvantage. That's actually a significant advantage, and it doesn't maybe look the prettiest, uh, but it's a significant advantage that I think Cameron would instruct other golfers to use. Cameron McCormick has been Jordan Spieth's only coach since Jordan was 12. In 2015, Cameron was the PGA Teacher of the Year and is the Director of Instruction at Trinity Forest Golf Club in Dallas. You look at a bent left arm particularly, I guess at the top of the swing and then down to impact or through impact, it kind of violates convention, doesn't it? You can see a bunch of rotation almost where the club face starts facing the sky over this side and the club face is flipping over, closing a full 180 degrees and it's closing that 180 degrees through a very, very short time frame at the bottom of the swing, which makes for recreational golfers it really challenging to match up where is that face going to be at that precise four ten thousandths of a second of where impact is. Probably the biggest misconception about Jordan is that he's a short hitter. Compared to the recent names that have cycled through the world number one slot, Dustin Johnson, Jason Day, Rory McIlroy, yes, it's true that unlike all of them, for Jordan, power is not his biggest asset. But he still averages over 290 with the driver, which is in the top third on tour and more than plenty to attack any golf course. Like all the best modern pros, he's been very dedicated to strength training. It's just that his is a swing engineered for consistency rather than total power. A club's face at impact is as much as 85% responsible for where a shot goes. Before the advent of sophisticated launch monitor technology like TrackMan, it was believed that path, or the direction a club is moving left to right at impact, had a far greater effect at creating hooks and slices. For me, it's an advantage because it holds my club face so square through impact. The club face doesn't rotate much. Therefore, if I'm off a little as I'm coming down into it, it's only going to be off by you know a degree or two degrees versus four or five. Supposing a six iron that flies 190 yards, those four degrees translate to a miss that flies three yards offline versus 17, or hitting a green or not. Is Jordan Spieth's swing the new model for straighter shots? Has a century of players and teachers been wrong? Golfers love history, and so we're always looking backwards at these benchmarks of greatness. How did this player grip the club? How many tournaments did he win by this stage of his career? What did he do to find success? But the real magic formula in any era is finding out how to innovate. How can you find a blind spot in convention and find a way to do something better? We've talked about it being a significant advantage and not something that uh, we ever shy away from, but in, in fact encourage. I think it takes a brave soul to recognize that what they do is different, but yet logic gives them the confidence to move forward and believe in it.